Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that, given the explicit formula of a geometric sequence, find the first five terms of the sequence, and the explicit formula is given as a n is equal to 2 into 1 by 4 whole raised to power n minus 1. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, explicit formula for the geometric sequence is given by a n is equal to a 1 into r raised to power n minus 1, where n is greater than or equal to 1, r is common ratio, and a 1 is first term of the sequence. And second result is, in German, any geometric sequence is given by a1, a1r, a1r square, a1r cube, and so on. Then a1 into r is to power n minus 1, and so on. Where a1 is first term, a1r is second term, and continuing like this, a1 into r is to power n minus 1 is the nth term of the geometric sequence. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in this question, we are given the explicit formula for the geometric sequence and we want to find the first five terms of the sequence. So we are given a n is equal to 2 into 1 by 4 whole raised to power n minus 1. Now using the result which is given to us in the key idea, explicit formula for the geometric sequence is given by a n is equal to a 1 into r is to power n minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 1. r is common ratio and a 1 is first term of the sequence. So, comparing this with the given explicit formula, we have a 1 is equal to 2 and r is equal to 1 upon 4. Thus, First term of the sequence is 2 and common ratio is 1 upon 4. Now from the key idea we also know that in general any geometric sequence is given by a1, a1r, a1r square and so on. Then a1 into r is to power n minus 1 and so on where a1 is the first term. A1R is the second term and continuing like this, A1 into R is to power n minus 1 is nth term of the geometric sequence. So, first five terms of the sequence are A1, then A1R, then A1R square, then A1R cube and A1R4. Now we have already obtained a1 is equal to 2 and r is equal to 1 upon 4. So we will put the values of a1 and r in this sequence. So we have a1 that is 2 then a1r that is 2 into 1 upon 4. Then a1 into r square that is 2 into 1 upon 4 whole square. Then a1 r cube that is 2 into 1 upon 4 whole cube. Then a1 into r raised to power 4 that is 2 into 1 upon 4 whole raised to power 4. Now simplifying all terms, we get first term a1 is equal to 2, 
second term a2 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 4 that is equal to 1 upon 2 third term a3 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 4 whole square which is equal to 2 into 1 upon 16 that is equal to 1 upon 8 then first term is 2 into 1 upon 4 whole cube so fourth term a4 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 64 that is equal to 1 upon 32. Now fifth term is 2 into 1 upon 4. Whole raised to power 4. So fifth term A5 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 256. That is equal to 1 upon 128. So first five terms of the sequence are 2, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 8, 1 upon 32 and 1 upon 128. So this is the required answer. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.